Hey, it's Mr. D, the band teacher, back again for another quick video on the clarinet. Today's topic is going to be on holding position, clarinet holding position. Um, this, gear, this video is geared for the beginner, like fourth, fifth grade, sixth grader, or just a beginner adult who wants to double check the holding position for the clarinet. So we're going to go over left hand and right hand um, position, and then I'm going to slide the chair back a little bit and show you kind of where... Um, the clarinet needs to be in a normal playing situation. So the first thing we want to do is identify um, the lower right thumb hook. This is where your right hand is going to go under. And up top it's going to be the um, what we call the left thumb key. All right, And above that is the register key. Okay, And again, um, this is geared really for the beginner. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take your uh, right thumb and you're going to put it under the thumb hook. Now I like to keep it just on this um, flat piece right here where my index finger is banging against. All right, I like to keep it right in there, hold it right there. And that allows me um, to have my hand kind of naturally wrapped around the instrument. So if I keep my hand this far in, you can see the tips of my finger to chew, they're going to miss the instrument completely. Bad hand position, very bad. What we want to do is bring it back a little bit so we can keep more of the natural um, curvature. And you want to stretch these fingers out. Let me just show you here. So here, you want to keep it like a natural hand position. All right, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do some weird claw thing. You want to just natural hand position. Okay, so thumb um, under the hook and then natural hand position. All right, so again, let me just show you real quick. Thumb right here and then we're keeping our natural hand position here. And we're going we're gonna to be lightly pressing first second and third and we want to use the squishy part of our fingers the fatty part here not the tips because if we do tip you can see right here I'll call it closer let me just turn it this way I'm not covering the hole completely not good we're gonna get some bad sound here we want to use the squishy part of your finger and form the seal all right so when your finger presses like these bottom keys you're pressing the ring and if you look carefully in your instrument it's hard to see on my camera um, it's actually, um, it goes over a hole, essentially. And what you want to do is press the, um, the ring and form a seal over the hole. Okay, you do the same thing with your middle, uh, middle finger and your third finger. And again, notice I'm keeping a natural hand position here. Um, my wrist is pretty much naturally set. The weight of the instrument, however, is on, and you can see my hand, I'm not even pressing it, is on um, the right thumb. All right, if I hold it like this, like I talked about in the beginning, then I got some weird stuff going on here. Then it's a little awkward and weird and wobbly. All right, so we want to bring our hand out, natural hand position. My fingers are almost flat. Okay, that's the right hand position. Try it with me, ready? Pointer, press it nice with the squishy part of your finger, nice and um, tight, um, middle finger, and third finger. Now, pinky needs to be at some point um, free to manipulate these keys when we get to it and some uh, lessons in the future. Okay, so I'll do a little dead on position here. Notice where my thumb is right here, see? Okay, we got one, two, and three. Okay, so that's the right hand position, lower hand, all right? All right, let's move on to the left now. If you look in the back of the instrument, you can see there's the left um, thumb key, and above it's the register key, all right? So what you're gonna do is take the squishy part of your finger, all right? And you're going to uh, press the key, the thumb key in the back. Let me just angle it here so you can see. All right, I'm not doing the tip like this. I'm not doing way over here like this. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can move it over there. All right, I'm using the squishy part of my thumb. And again, we're talking natural hand position. So left thumb in the back of the hole, and if you can see that, I'll try to move it this way maybe. All right, left thumb, and then we're wrapping around the uh, first open key, okay, first open key, first, middle, and the third one doesn't have a ring. All the other ones have this ring here. All right, so third, two, and three, and then thumb in the back. All right, and again, it's natural hand position. Pinky, like the other hand, is free to move around. All right, so we have thumb in the back, pointer in the middle. I got a little game that I have my kids do, which is I'm going to do... Um, Left thumb, pointer, middle, third, and then right thumb under the hook, okay? Pointer, middle, third, and I'm gonna press real tight. All right, do it, press it real tight. Count to three. One, two, 
three. Now I'm going to show you. Look at my fingers. I don't know if you can see that. See those rings? That's kind of sort of where you need to be as a beginner. As you get more advanced, of course, you get to manipulate your hands and, and look for that special spot. But for right now, see those rings? You need to be in the squishy part of your fingers. I don't know if my other hand can do it. Yeah, they're barely there. You get the idea? So we got thumb on the back, thumb below. One, two, three, one, um, two, three. Everything is natural hand position. Okay? Now let's quick move back. I'm going to move the chair back and I'm going to show you the, um, the playing position for a typical beginner student. So what we want to do is when we're holding the clarinet, we want to hold it so that the bell is just about where our knees are. We're not holding it close to our body like this. We're not holding it like this, like a trumpet. And again, natural hand position. Fingers are naturally placed. And it's pretty much about where our knees are. The bell is kind of like right about a little bit maybe above my knees, okay? Okay, so join me. We're going to do uh, E, D, C, okay? So form your mouth the correct way. If you forgot how to do that, check out one of my embouchure videos for clarinet. And we're going to do E, D, C. Again, using the squishy part of your fingers. Um, you're holding your right thumb about where the thumbnail is. Ready? Here we go. E, D, and C. Okay. So... Um, if you have any questions, go to the help page on our website. Um, for now, keep practicing, rock on, and we'll talk to you soon.